Hey guys, this is Maggie from Magnificent Tarot, and I am back to do your mid monthly Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, Jupiter, and North Node. This will be um, more of a general reading, but it will have elements of love, business, and whatever comes up. This is the mid month letting us know what you guys should be expecting for the last two weeks of October, what you guys are going through, what are your biggest challenges right now, best course of action, and the potential outcome. Okay, so whatever shows up is what I will be presenting to you guys. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for all your likes, your comments, and your subscribes. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. So the card that came out as your Oracle message is Community Reverse. And the Rest and Rejuvenation card is a Peer Reverse as well. So the Community card in Reverse is talking about a recent breakup. Somebody just maybe you just broke up with someone here um, this could have been uh, something related to family maybe there was a distance between family members um, friends but this definitely talks about uh, needing to get out and mingle <laughs> um, yeah so in the reverse I'll read it from the book this card reverse indicates feelings of isolation and perhaps loneliness. So some of you guys are feeling a, feeling a little lonely. Um, I sense that maybe you guys just got out of a third party relationship or uh, this is some, has something to do with some type of third party relationship. Somebody has excused themselves right, at, right out of that party. They didn't want to be part of that anymore. And I feel like some of you guys are feeling um, lonely or maybe you were rejected. Maybe you were part of a third party situation and you got rejected. You may have been the third party. Um, but whatever the case may be, um, you're feeling a little lonely. Um, there may have been a recent disconnect with old associations or even a dissolution of some wider partnership. This may be um, this may result in feelings of loss and grief, but take heart. It is often the case that as you shift your energy into a higher vibration, you may find that you no longer resonate with old acquaintances. This is also about cutting off people that no longer serve you. Okay, so cutting off someone that you were in a relationship with, friends that don't that no longer serve you because they're not they're not on the same wave as you. Basically, they're base they they don't have goals. They don't, they're not you know they're not ambitious. Maybe they're holding you back. Maybe they're just stuck in the. Um, and lower frequencies, they want to do things, they want to club and drink and get drunk. And maybe you're not on that wave anymore. And maybe you just know that it's time for you to cut certain people off. Some people are just toxic around you and you're um, really taking your distance. Um, it's time to move on to more resonant associations. Let yourself network in ways that reflect your highest intentions. Meditation groups, classes, book, book clubs, and the like are all places you may meet new acquaintances that are in closer harmony to you. You needn't allow your isolation to continue. It may, it may take some conscious effort on your part, but now is the time to reconnect, network, and gain the sense of support that you are looking for. Um, some of you guys may um, have been partying, going out, and this could also be you pulling back and, and taking, um, you know, going into hermit mode uh, a little bit. You may have been in hermit mode or in the tool of uh, the priestess reverse mode where you're withdrawing, going within, keeping to yourself. And this could be you needing to get back out there, um, needing to network, especially if you're an entrepreneur, especially if you're in social media, you may need to do some more marketing, may need to make your presence known a little bit more. So this is why this card is being displayed. And then we have rest and rejuvenation in the reverse. This makes sense. Some of you guys need to, um, like I said, take it easy. And some of you guys, I see two scenarios. Some people need to take it easy and some people need to get out there. And really network okay um, it just depends on the situation so when this card is displayed in the reverse 
It can pretend a time of bustling activity and seemingly unending business. You may be required to take more action concerning a project or situation. Allow yourself to do what's needed, but always remember to schedule some leisure time for yourself. When you hurry through your life without a break, it fragments your energy and creates an abrasive life force, causing potential frustration in all sorts of ways. Be careful not to let endless tasks take you away from yourself. The have to items on your list may be calling you, but this card reverse is telling you, take the time to meditate, rest, and relax. I really like that. And again, you guys may be seeking solitude from toxic people, a toxic relationship. You're taking a break, basically, um, or you're needing to take a break. So that is your oracle message. Lions and lionesses. Let's see what your challenges are or what your challenge is. Oh, okay, that was fast, the star. <laughs> Being optimistic, having hope, having faith, also healing. The star card speaks of healing and balancing out your emotions. This is an eight, number eight, so this talks about expanding. Okay, a lot of you guys may need to expand on business. I keep picking up the energy of creative projects, this new, new business ventures. Um, something that has to that will require some entrepreneurial type of skills. Some of you guys may need to um, really invest your time into studying. Okay, but with the eight, I do see growth movement. There will be a lot of movement. Your business will require require a lot of your time. So again, in correlation to the rest and re rest and rejuvenation card, take time to heal because you're going to be doing a lot for the, the, the next two weeks, okay, leading into November. Also, with the eight, number eight, this is karma. It's a karma, uh, you know, it de denotes karma. So there will be some karmic lessons. Um, I like the fact that he's reaching up for the star here, or this particular balloon is almost like it's eluding, you know, about to fly up into the sky. And he's reaching. So this is needing, this is you needing to, Reach higher, okay? Reach higher, set your standards higher. Set your goals higher, okay? So you guys need to set your standards high as far as who you're dealing with, who you're mingling with, um, you know, who you are um, befriending now, who you're meeting. Make sure that you're setting your standards high. Make sure that people that you're dealing with are on the same wave vibration as you are in alignment with what you want to do in life okay remember birds of a feather flock together so if you want to be successful make sure that you're around successful people network um also what i'm picking up from this card is um he's he's little it's almost like There's some type of fear surrounding. Um, he, look, he has stars in his eyes. Starstruck, right? Like he's starstruck or um, maybe fantasizing. And I feel like there, there's some type of wish you want to be um, popular maybe famous some of you guys may want to be around want to be stars and I feel like um there's a fear though you know what I mean if there's some type of a fear here um and I think this is the time to conquer these fears because he's conquering it's like he's little but he's really stretching to, to get this balloon and he's look he, he he just about has it it's almost like he's not giving up and there's a, all these other balloons around him but he wants this one he wants the best one okay so go out for the biggest <laughs> bestest don't be afraid you know he might have to take a leap to kind of grab it right so don't be afraid to take that leap of faith. Be faith, you know, have faith, be hopeful. Um, and think big, okay? Think big. 
All right, so your challenge is to think big, you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and do a Celtic cross. Oops. For your beautiful soul. And it will be modified. And it's just gonna be like my nine card spread, but um, I'm gonna be reading it Celtic cross style, laying it out like a Celtic cross. But I'm also gonna read it like a nine card spread too, okay? So I've already meditated and prayed over the cards. We got the, okay, we got a Leo card here, Leo or Sag energy, fire sign energy. But it's in the reverse, so some of you guys are lacking in confidence here. Um, as it pertains to maybe a business endeavor, um, there will be a new cycle. It's time for you to make some type of decision in order to end the cycle, um, in order to have a fresh start, some type of new beginning, needing to make a choice. It looks like some of you guys have made a choice or are about to make a choice. And whatever this is related to has something to do with finances, money. Yeah, choosing between two women. One nurtures you, one um, is soft, kind, the other one is harsh, brash. Um, you needing to be honest, or there's some truth has been revealed. Um, a lot of you guys are healing and nurturing yourself. Okay. From type some type of situation. Um, or this could be uh, for you uh, ladies, you may have to be picking, you need to be, you may have to pick two between two guys, earth and an air sign, or you may be one of the women that needs to be picked. So you're an option right now, or you may have options. Um, so there needs to be some type of balance, some fairness here. There wasn't any fairness in a situation. Somebody was in control. Someone was trying to dominate a situation. Also, um, as far as money, somebody here is in need of some financial relief. Some of you guys are in need. Some of you guys are having some money issues um, mid-month, but conflicts and inner struggles are going to subside. Okay, definitely. One more quick shuffle. Somebody's coming towards you with an apology. Somebody that was self-serving in the past. Um, their wish is for you guys to make up or reconcile. Okay, I think that's enough shuffling. Leos, this is your soul to cross, bottom of the deck. Um, having difficulties moving away from a situation. This could be someone having difficulties moving away from you energetically or emotionally. These are sores, so um, this could represent a uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, okay? Um, or this could be someone moving towards you. Maybe a reconciliation. Ooh. <laughs> wow, heart of the matter, we have the Ace of Cups. So you guys are unhappy right now. Um, some you guys may be involved in some type of toxic toxic situation, um, or there may be needing to release. Yeah, something about releasing a toxic situation. There is a strong attachment or obsession um, with a person, place, or thing that is causing a lot of negative emotions. Um, there could be um, heartache due to. Uh, Toxic behavior such as infidelity, such as cheating, lying, drugs, um, you know, anything that has to do with carnal desires here. In the now, I see um, weakness here. I also see lack of confidence. Um, this is failure. This is lack of success. So some of you guys are experiencing some issue issues as it pertains to um, your financial endeavors. As far as relationship, a lot of you guys are, are heartbroken. You guys are depleted, emotionally drained due to a toxic situation that had to do with um, some type of toxic attachment. All right. Um, and we have it to pass the full in reverse. Um, someone made a hasty decision or maybe a poor judgment call. Um, this is also talking about a lack of faith, maybe insecurity, problems with insecurity. Um, yeah. Someone didn't want to make a hasty decision. Someone didn't take a leap, um, rejected some type of offer. This could be rejection, okay? And someone's still feeling the aftermath of that. 
However, um, the future potential or the, I'm sorry, the immediate future is that someone is letting go of some type of a burden, something that has burdened them. They're letting down these wands so that they can actually see what's in front of them, okay? The opportunity is being presented. Um, this also lets me know that there was some type of third party situation. Somebody was hiding, somebody had secrets, um, but this person was unable to keep the third party a secret, okay? Um, something came to light here. Um, crowning the energy, we have the uh, Seven of Wands defense, someone on the defense, um, a lot of defensive energy. Someone tired of struggling or someone tired of fighting. The Seven of Wands energy for me also is someone giving up on a situation. I will be clarifying with the Smith Weight deck here, but I'm gonna go ahead and lay out all the cards and then start clarifying. Um, doubts and fear. Someone is uh, fearful of being cut off. Okay. Or they're fearful of telling the truth about something. King of Swords is very, or making a decision. Someone is, you know, fearing that they aren't going to be, they're not going to be able to make a good decision. King of Swords is very decisive. He takes action and he demands truth and justice. Someone feeling like they're not going to get the justice they deserve. What's the outside influence? Um, a lot of domestic <laughs> domestic disputes, um, family issues, family meddling, um, money, um, having a lot of responsibilities, taking care of people in the family, divorce, um, domestic problems. Um, there in the household again, infidelity is showing up. I kind of feel like this is someone that's dealing with a lot of issues at home um, as it relates to money, how money is being spent, how children, the children are being raised, who's getting the kids, when they're getting the kids, anything that has to do with the family structure. But when it's in the reverse, this is a lot of uh, domestic um, issues, especially a breakdown of communication. Wow, someone had this card in this position, I believe cancer interesting and this is the card of cancer king of cups is the hopes and dreams are the desires you guys want a king of cups you want someone to express some type of emotion this is you wanting to be able to express emotion to someone or offer someone some type of um emotional offer or you're wanting this emotional offer from someone else if this represents a person um this is now having more of an emotional connection instead of a carnal connection or obsession, okay? Wanting a, an emotional connection, wanting this person to express their love to you, um, wanting this person to show up like the King of Cups. If you're a woman, um, this is being um, finally opening up because this could be emotionally detached. This is someone that is slow to show emotions and I feel like maybe you're wanting to uh, be able to express some type of emotion but this is definitely talking about love Ooh, final outcome queen of cups so we have a king of cups wanting to offer something to the queen but the queen is in reverse so she not she's not having it she's detaching so let's go ahead and see why there is going to be a detachment this could be someone wanting to end a situation too uh, so I'm seeing two scenarios, a few scenarios. I am seeing third party. And what's funny is the bottom of this card is the Ten of Pentacles. So that is definitely marriage. I, I look at that as a marriage card. And I see a pair. And I see two women. We see the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups. So there's a fire sign, a Leo woman. That could be you guys. And there's a water sign woman involved. You guys may be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So let's clarify the devil. Why is the devil here? Wow. Yeah, third party situation. You guys have felt a lot of heartache due to this third party. Um, and some of you guys may be the person um, with the devil energy, the cheater in this situation. Clarify the Ace of Cups reverse. Why is the Ace of Cups being presented reverse here? Clarify the Ace of Cups. 
I, I really feel like you, you know, some of you guys may be the person cheating in this situation, or you may be getting cheated on. Um, because this does cover Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, Ven um, Mercury, Jupiter, and North Node. Clarify the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups reverse? All right, same card. Yeah, somebody's stuck in a difficult situation that's making them super unhappy, right? Arguing, lots of fights, verbal abuse, verbally aggressive, whoever they're dealing with. Ooh. Okay, you guys, your energy is off the chain. Let's see who this Queen of Wands person is here. Who's this Queen of Wands? Right. So someone is in the now is a, attached to a, a Queen of Wands type energy. This could be Aries, um, Leo, Sag, or this could just be the energy of the Queen of Wands in reverse. Someone very controlling. Okay. Um, very controlling. Someone that is... Uh, wanting to know your every move. This is jealousy. There's some jealousy. There's resentment. Um, this person is very scornful and she wants you to prove your love and makes it completely impossible to do that. Um, okay. Yeah. So this is this is a, a struggle here, and it's a it's like a fight, and it's like you're in a energy of not wanting to fight with this person anymore clarify the wow i didn't even finish seeing what i was saying um seven of wands reverse i'm getting four of, um yeah you're wanting to give up you need to heal this situation has taken a lot of your energy um and it's the it's the crowning energy so this is what is on your mind wow you guys what's going on king of swords four three of wands reverse not taking these but um yeah this is the crowning energy ace of wands ten of cups damn two of cups reverse so no one was no one was taking action it was kind of like you guys were on <laughs> both standing your ground in this situation um this relationship um there's no happiness that connection that uh, you know that love that deep fondness is gone here and someone wants a change of scenery. Um, and this is due to the dis domestic disputes. You're arguing, you're not seeing eye to eye. There's disharmony, there's this uh, uh, imbalance. King of Swords, why is this the doubts and the fears? You guys, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, getting a divorce or separating. You guys, some of you guys are fearing separating this person, even though this relationship is showing up as toxic because you just have a lot of history with this person. There's a lot of love. Again, we do see the two of cups here. At one point, you felt like this was your soulmate. You felt like this was the perfect person for you. But for some reason, you guys just can't see eye to eye. This person is very controlling, very domineering. Um, clarify the... Yeah, but you're going to be walking away with the Eight of Cups. Um, the outside influence is the Ten of Pentacles. So this person that you're dealing with may be very argumentative. There could be issues with money. Somebody may be um, secretly hiding money away. Um, I do see that, again, someone stepping out of a marriage or a relationship. Um, I do see infidelity heavy. And somebody wants to divorce, to divorce somebody here. Um, you know, they're being, you see, he's charging here. And this is, this energy is for me, he's like relentless. Um, someone not giving up or somebody doesn't want to give up. Like one of the partners, this could be you or the cross watcher does not want to give up on this situation. With the death card, definitely there needs to be an ending of something for something new to begin. And I feel like this person is still juggling. This could be you juggling, Leo, or you're at the party. Um, if this is related to a business partnership, I feel like you're juggling two businesses um, or find two financial situations. Um, and that's starting to um, 
weigh heavy on you and there is going to be some type of transformation or change presenting itself here let's look at the um, immediate future hey man yeah somebody here is really just deciding not to do anything right now making a decision not to do anything um, because you really just don't know what to do star card you're losing faith you're losing hope um feeling a little bit powerless not knowing how to manifest this change or there some of you guys may be trying to manifest a change here some of you guys may be dibbling and dabbling i don't see the moon card but i won't be surprised if it comes out there's a devil's here so somebody may be trying to keep somebody with magic here. There will be some good news presented in the immediate future because I do see a release of burdens and responsibilities. So, um, yeah, see, justice will be served. Um, so this means a court case may go in your favor or something is going to be pertaining to law. So this could be the divorce, signing divorce papers, finalizing a divorce. But there will be some type of balance coming into your life, which is good. Always good to get balance. And let's clarify the um, Queen of Cups. I'm putting these cards back. Um, now, as it relates to a business partnership, I feel like somebody was hiding money or there was some type of... Um, issue with how the money was being distributed within the business somebody um, was in paying uh, another partner their rightful share and um, you guys took it to court and the court um, verdict was in your favor you're hearing some good news about this verdict and it was in your favor and it's something, wow, <laughs> it's something you manifested, okay? For some of you guys, family matters. It looks like some of you guys are supporting family. You're feeling like you're getting taken advantage of and some of you guys are, are deciding to, um, to cut off the support. Um, some of you guys are... are Perfect, just fell on top of the King of Cups. Yeah, definitely talking about somebody wanting a more traditional type of way, uh, uh, type of situation. Wow, look, the King of Cups came back out because look, it's kind of showing me a story here. Somebody wanted to be in control, somebody was being naughty, and they didn't want to be committed at one point, and they were out here being a hoe. Okay. But somebody did some type of 360. Remember, we had the death card. Somebody went through a transformative process. After this ending, they went through a very difficult period um, of, of mourning and grieving this loss. Because this is loss here. Okay, and if we look at all these three cards up here, um, this is definitely someone needing to make a decision um, as it relates to a relationship and there was a decision to leave. But it did cause grieving in the present here because we have the um, crowning energy, the heart of the matter, and the underlying issue is this Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is very promiscuous. Promiscuity. Yeah, see, third party. Three of Pentacles. Community dick. <laughs> and again, the world card. And so this cycle needed to come to an end. Ten of Pentacles, again, is being presented to clarify the Queen of Wands energy. Somebody was off the chain. So why is King, the Queen of Cups showing up as the final outcome in the reverse? Now, as it pertains to a business relationship, I feel like you, someone had to sell their share of a company or they had to share a, sell a company or a company wasn't doing well, but they're starting to gain success after they severed ties with a, a certain partner. Okay. The verdict was you 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 got ownership of 100% ownership of a business or a, a corporation. So there could have been some issue with that, with, um, with ownership. Clarify the Queen of Cups. 
but I do see a new cycle and I do see there will be some type of divorce yeah Queen of Cups is um, kind of mourning she's 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 not whatever this offer is coming towards her okay because if you let's look at these cards I'm gonna move remove the clarifiers this king is facing these two queens. They're both reverse. She scorned, she scorned because he was being a devil, right? He was a husband, he was supposed to be a provider. But he wanted his cake and eat it too. He wanted both these women. He thought he could handle, he thought he could juggle both of them at the same time. Hold on. And he was sadly mistaken. She's looking at him, but she's not. She still wants him, but she doesn't. But he's looking. Who is he looking at? Who is he looking at? Why is he looking at her? Why is he looking at the Queen of Cups? No, he knows he, he knows he fucked up. He knows he fucked up. Leo energy, that's your energy. Yeah. Rejection. Either she rejected him or he rejected her at some point. And now that he's single... Now that he's single, he wants her back. We're one, you know. Damn. I was trying to prevent the car from falling. That's all right. That's okay. I'm going to clarify what I have. Clarify the hermit card reverse. Why is the hermit being presented in a reverse? Yeah, we want to come back out from the cold. This queen rejected the king. The queen of cups rejected the king of cups. Now, this is a pair, so this could be a husband and a wife. This could be the third party woman, um, or this could be the husband and wife, and this could be the third party, depending on your situation, whatever resonates um, with you. But he wants to come back and make an offer to this queen. The final outcome is who he wants. He wants the Queen of Cups. He wants to be her husband after his wife no longer wants him or his partner. But she doesn't want him now. She's like, I didn't want to be a choice. I didn't want to be an option. I mean, I never wanted to be your, uh, an, an option. I never wanted to be part of this karmic, toxic cycle with you. And you just need to leave me alone. But this Leo's looking... Show me the final outcome. Will she give him a chance? Will she give him a chance? I feel like this card's trying to come out. Oh, she's trapped. She doesn't know what to do. This is causing a lot of anxiety. Will they reconcile? Will they reconcile? Defense. <laughs> yes. Yes, they will. Wow. Six of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Yes, they will reconcile. She will accept the stupid offer. I mean, she will accept the offer. Oh, Lord. Okay, you guys. So there will be a reconciliation, Leo. You will accept his offer or um, they will accept your offer. However it goes, however it resonates with you. Okay. Um, that is your reading. Thank you for watching.